was larger, older people, men in their twenties and so they came in droves, yes. And how did you get involved with the underground specifically? Ah, no, I got involved by sheer curiosity. I saw it in the evening sun that I it was on the front page and I read it and it says you're in As we are going into Ipswich on the A12, there has been a major incident of some kind, and there's all the right lanes are closed. There's police officers walking up it now. I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. My passenger is holding the phone. There's police walking up the road now. All the lanes are shut. That, that, that policeman had firearms. All the lanes are shut. So if you're coming towards it, switch. Come another way other than the A12. Because it's very congested. That policeman I just saw had a gun. So it could be very serious, I'm not sure. But the whole of the A12 is shut and the police have blocked it off. And we are now going towards Washbrook and Copdop because the A12 is totally blocked. As you can see, the police car's there, the police woman's there. You can't get no further. Whatever's going on up there is very, very serious. And you cannot get into Ipswich via the A12. The whole of the A12 has been shut. So whatever is happening, you then have to come off the A12. Oh, you can rejoin it here maybe. But it took me an extra 45 minutes to get about it took me an extra 45 minutes to get a little, little distance. And that's it, the motorway is reopened now. But that will definitely put an hour on your journey. So if you want to go to Ipswich today, ladies and gentlemen, do not go the A12 way because you'll be very, very, very late as I am. Shine on everybody and I hope everyone is okay involved in that incident. Shine on.